so this video is just from my personal experience and how things have been working out for me and i think it will help one or two people so just watch the video take the things that you can apply to your life and apply i chose god and i lost some of my friends okay so the other day little story time before we start the other day i went to see one of my friends and she was telling me that she's seeing what i'm doing on social media and how i'm posting about god and how I'm posting about my relationship with God and the challenges I have day to day on my other social media platforms and that she said that she she actually she actually likes what I'm doing but that she wants to get to she wants to have a closer relationship with God but then she's having some challenges and there's one one of the challenges that she had that just like I resented with because it was something that I was struggling with at um, initially something I was struggling with initially so she said that she wants to have a closer relationship because she wants to have a more intimate relationship with God but then that she's scared that she will lose some of her friends and I'm like wow that is that was actually what I was passing through a couple of months ago so I decided to do a video about it about what I just told her and, and what some people around me told me that I'm just going to put together and tell you guys because it's it's really a challenge when you're trying to grow your relationship with God when you're trying to come up as a young Christian in God's family um, we can be bothered we tend to be bothered about what people think about us we tend to be bothered about um, how other people see us so um the list of things i might be looking down I, I made a note about what i'm going to say so i might be looking down so the first thing i would say when we are trying to um get past this level of bothering about what people think about us or bothering about um how other people see us or bothering about the fact that we're going to lose our friends if we really really take our relationship with god seriously so the first thing i would say is god first no matter what, no matter what, in every situation, God first. So in your relationship with your friends, in your friendship relationship, in whatever you are doing, put God first. You know that Bible verse. I'm not. I'm. I'm still trying to grow my relationship with God. So I'm not. I'm not going to claim that I'm perfect or that I am without sin. No, I will not say that because everybody is. But on this journey of being intimate with God, of growing our, our relationship stronger and stronger with God, we have to put God first in everything we do. In our relationship with our loved ones, in our relationship with our friends, we have to put God first. So that Bible verse that says that if our eye makes us to sin, we should plug it out. I hope you guys can recall it. That is, that is just a perfect example of this. So. Put God first in whatever you're doing. Anybody that will make you divert, anybody that will make you move away from growing a closer and stronger relationship with God, I would suggest that you tend to do without them. But then, then again, I will not, I will not tell you because I have actually been in this position. I will not tell you to like go to that friend that you know that maybe he or she is not growing and um, drawing you closer to God. I'll not go. I'll not. I'll not tell you to just go straight up to the person. I tell the person, um, I don't want to talk to you again. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. Let's just cut off. Let's stop talking together. Let's stop talking with each other. I will not tell you to do that because that is not what I did. That will bring me to my second point. My second point is just be you, be you, and every other person we adjust. Your lifestyle, the way you behave, the way you act, your day-to-day -day life. If um, your day-to-day -day life portrays what you believe, portrays who you are, portrays your love for God. Every other person around you will adjust. If they are telling you to, because as, if they are telling you to come to uh, to um, a particular place that you you know yourself that God will not be happy with you, or you know that by the time you go to that place you will feel impure or you will feel dirty. In quotes, um, your lifestyle should tell them that you cannot be able to come to that place because some people cannot just come to you or a friend cannot just come to you and tell you that let's go to this place if the person doesn't think that you you might or you might not say you might say yes but if but if the person knows for a fact that princess will not go to this place princess will not do this princess will not do that she will not or he will not come and ask you 
so that's why i'm saying be you and every other person be address just pretend do not pretend that is one that i'm not i'm not judging this this like i said earlier this is not to judge anybody this is just for you to just um take what you can take from this video and apply to your life if you will so i'm not judging because i i have actually been in that position before do not pretend to your friends do not pretend to those who close around you that um or you like this particular kind of worldly behavior or you like this particular kind of worldly um gathering or you can be dear because you don't just want them to see you as as mommy g or equal or you don't want them to because that's what they tend to call call us but then <laughs> just be like a, just just be you serious that's what i would say just behave how you would behave to every other person to that your friend do not pretend that you are less holy than how you actually are or you are less religious or you are, you are less not you are less christian like that how you actually are hope i hope you understand what i'm saying the third point i will say is that not everything good is god not everything good is from god not everything good is god's will for you or is god's direction for you so when they say let's go and do a particular kind of thing or it might not necessarily be a sin but just that your spirit does not accept it because as you grow closer and closer to god god the holy spirit the holy spirit ministers to you the holy spirit talks to you the holy spirit talks through you and then you just know that some things are not for you you just know that some things you are not supposed to do some things you just know that some things if you really 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 still want to be close with god if you really want to maintain that your relationship with god this particular thing if i do it if i did i feel i feel impure or i feel not worthy to be in god's sight or to be in god's presence so those kind of things when the holy spirit talks, talks to you in those kind of way listen to him listen to him and apply it do not say because it's not a sin or there was no where it was written in the bible that just know that the Holy Spirit is talking to you and when the Holy Spirit talks to you, do not shut him down. Do not shut him. Listen to him. That's why um, do, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. It's a very, very important verse that we have to apply in our life every day. So that thing that I tell you to do that might not necessarily be a sin, but the Holy Spirit is talking to you that you're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. Listen to him. Listen to him. Do not just say, I want to please my friend, then I'll do what your spirit is, does not accept, what you as a person does not accept. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to talk to you because when you listen to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit tends to talk to you more. But today he talks to you, you do, you do not hear him, you do not listen to him, you do not obey him. Tomorrow his voice will be lower. Next tomorrow you might not hear his voice. So that's how it is. Do not do things to please your friend. Do things to please God. Like I said in my first point, God first as always. God first as always. So now to the fourth point, and this is going to be the last point. It's not going to be a long message. This is going to be the last point. What I will say is that this um, growing with God, being intimate with God, is going to be a lonely work. Do not be afraid to be lonely. Do not be afraid to be on your own in this path. Because if you tend to be afraid that you will lose this particular friend, you lose that particular friend, you really, you really will not go anywhere with your relationship with God. You tend to go in circles. You tend to be at one particular point. You, you, you will not go forward. So do not be afraid to lose friends along the way. Do not be afraid to lose people that are not going the same direction with you. Get. Do not be afraid to, to lose those that... You might you guys might have been close at one particular point in your life you guys might have been besties but then when you start becoming closer with god when you start becoming closer with god if that person that person needs god too he actually she he or she actually needs god too so through your life it's either the person we accept god through seeing you behave the way you are behaving becoming closer to god or the person will drop out completely from you so you have to take risks we actually have to take it. We have to take that risk. Do you want to not be with God at all and let you and your friend be in that particular position you guys have been all your life? Or do you want to start becoming closer and closer with God and then your friend sees that light in you, sees that light in you and then decides to come closer with God? Wouldn't you like that outcome instead than not 
than for you not doing anything at all. I personally, I would prefer that as come. I actually prefer to risk it and become closer with God because the fruit of becoming closer with God, every every person around you will see. It. It's not something you have to say or convince the other person around you. You get so do not be afraid to be lonely. Do not be afraid to lose one or two friends that love this journey of becoming closer with God. So guys, that is, that is the message for today. If you resonate with what I'm saying, give it a like, please, so that the algorithm can let other people know that we talk about faith and other stuff in this channel. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.